Hello Steam Machines, welcome back, I hope you are having fun on this. If you are struggling for any reason, please do not forget that we have provided you with a copy of our code, so you can open that and compare it with yours, see what's gone wrong and where. 9 out of 10, if you're experiencing any issues, I'm going to tell you that it's because the variable names do not match. Sometimes, as you've seen before in one of my previous videos, perhaps I was placing down the green herb instead of the yellow, and that's why I couldn't see the colors that I wanted. And to be honest, 9 out of 10, when you guys send the code to us and we fix it, that is the issue. So do not worry, it's absolutely fine, we're here to learn. To be honest, making mistakes is much better because then you can check where you've gone wrong, fix them, and that's where you really learn. Everybody makes mistakes. I make lots of mistakes, even in real time. If you've seen some of my live streams, you've probably seen some of silly mistakes. It's usually just one click here, one block there. But the important thing is to solve it and learn as we create. In this video, we're going to create a second level. You're going to be seeing me wearing my yellow hat because this is a little bit more complicated. Why? Because to move from level one to level two, what we'll have to do is collect all of the collectibles that have been left over and destroy them. Destroy the tile map, destroy our character. There's a lot of destruction going on. I like this. And then set up a brand new level, a brand new character. So it's going to take a few extra coding blocks, some to clean up level one, some to set up level two. Here's my suggestion. Please try to do this yellow level. But if you do struggle, completely ignore the first part of this video and just create a second level on a separate project. I repeat, if you find this a bit too complicated, which is understandable, you can ignore the delete or the destroy part of this video and then go and create a brand new project. I'm going to mark this on our video so that you are sure to start in the right spot. However, if you'd like to follow me step by step, what we're going to do is, number one, create a function that gets called and I'll explain what a function is once we reach 100 points. We're going to destroy all the leftover collectibles, the camera, and our sprite. We're going to set up a brand new tile map, new sprites, and our new character. And here's the code as we left it off. This is going to be our starting point. So on sprite of kind of player overlaps with another sprite of kind herb, we destroy the herb with a little animation and we change the score by one. We're going to create a little function that says if the points are 100, then something should happen. I mentioned at the beginning that we're going to use a function and this is how you can find them. Click on advanced here. You see the black uh, menu and you've got this dark blue here that says functions. If you click on it, it asks you to create a new one. Now, a function is a series of instructions that is um, deployed by the computer. And in this case, it's going to be our level two. As you click on it, the only thing you need to focus on is this. You see, it says do something. Well, it's going to be level two. OK, that's it. Job done. <laughs> it's quite easy, isn't it? Fabulous. Before we go and fill in level two, this is what I like to do. We need to create a trigger. So, in other words, tell the computer when to execute this part of the code. When is it doing it? Well, when we reach 100 points. So let's go and get to logic, if, and in here we want to say if the points are 100, then let's do something. Okay, first things first, I'm going to go to comparison. You see this 0 equals 0. This is going to see score equals 100. And guess where I can find score? Well, it's got to do with points. It's this horrible color here. So it's going to be under info, score. So if score reaches 100, then something should happen. Well, first of all, I think we need to congratulate the player when this happens. So I'm going to create a splash. This is just a message that comes through. 
And then uh, you can write whatever you like here. Congratulations, wise one. You have unlocked the door, the sacred door. Something a bit cool. Okay, so this is gonna appear on the screen. I'm gonna give you a demonstration after that. I'm going to award some bonus points to the player, perhaps some 50 points. And here you go, change score by one. Instead of by one, we'll change it by 50. And then finally, what else should we do? We need to call level two. So I'm gonna go to functions. If it's hidden for any reason, don't worry. Just click on this black menu here, advanced, go to functions, and after you created it, you will find this call level two. I'm gonna place it in here, and this is going to create, well, actually, sorry, call level two. There is one problem though, we have not created level two. So let's go ahead and do it. First things first, we need to wipe out everything that was left. Now, this is where things are a little bit more complicated. We're gonna need to add a new concept to our code. It's called an array. An array, in simple terms, is nothing but a list. Imagine having to go grocery shopping and you've got your milk, eggs, bread, and so forth, jam, chocolate, whatever you like. And uh, that would be called an array. We could call it a shopping list. Let's say that uh, your parents' car is at the mechanic. The mechanic needs to order a certain number of parts. That's the same thing. Let's say that you need a new computer and the computer needs a few pieces and perhaps you're buying on Amazon. Well, that's exactly the same. That would be your trolley or your shopping cart. Well, an array is exactly the same. Imagine it as a list. If you'd like to picture a place or an object, imagine a forsaken mansion in the middle of nowhere. You go in, it's abandoned, but there is a huge chest of drawers. I'm not talking about three drawers, I'm, about, I'm talking about 300, 3000 drawers. And in each of these drawers, as you open them, there is a little message. And the message could be a number, a poem, a picture. In this case, it's going to be a sprite or a series of sprites. So we're going to have to create this list of sprites, which were our green, yellow and red herbs and get rid of them. Because otherwise it's going to slow down our next level. So let me show you how to do this. Still in yellow, guys. All right. So first things first, we're going to create an array. So it's, you find it down here. For any reason you don't see it, click on advanced again and go on to array. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You see this one says set sprite list. Okay. So this one, we're going to call it herbs list. So the herbs list array of sprites of kind. If you remember when we set up the herbs, they were not players. They were herb. So this is now this red block here is now listing all of the leftover blocks that hosted the herbs. And then uh, what do we want to do it? Well, we want to destroy them. So we're going to create a for loop. For this, you have already used this. So here we go. That's the same block as we used before. For element value of list, match the list with this, because of course this is the list and it's called the herbs list. Here we go. What do we need to do? We need to destroy those herbs, the leftover. Okay, no problem. Let's go and grab the same thing, drag the value onto Sprite, and this is it. It's gone. What else do we need to do? Well, unfortunately, guys, we're going to need to destroy our own Sprite. Why is that? Because it is connected to the previous level. So I want to get rid of UK on this level. Okay? What next? Well, we're gonna create the new Talma scene. Grab your Talmap too. And this time we click on the Talmap and see on the bottom left here, it says 16 by 16. Now to make things easier, but also a little bit different, I would like you to create a level which is only 10 by eight. 10 by eight. Why this? Because this is the exact size of our gaming platform screen so we don't leave the border in other words we do not need the camera to follow our sprite anymore 
You could decide to do that. I'm just thinking slightly different. I'm gonna change different things. So I'm gonna create a dungeon. Very simple, just a room, keep it easy. Please make sure that you fill it with the same type of tile. Think of this as the bonus level, as in Super Mario, when you go down to the secret level, and you find all the coins. Same thing, we're gonna get Yuke a little boost. So at this stage, we have destroyed the list, destroyed the character, created a new tile map. Well, now I can create the new tile, then sorry, the new character. So I'm gonna recreate Yuke and I'm gonna grab the same avatar that I was using before, but give it a little twist because obviously UK is now level two. So I'm thinking more of a Dragon Ball Super Saiyan sort of thing. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. Think of your own uh, uh, favorite characters. I'm gonna make this guy blonde now. A bit scary now, woohoo! And uh, so it's a little bit different. Does it make sense? Okay, you use the same exact block as before for the movement but I do not need the camera because it's gonna be confined to the screen. And this is it for now. However, I want to place the bonus items. How do I do that? Well, same as before, if you remember, we created a list of herbs. This was a quite chunky block of code. For this, it's gonna be easier, don't worry. It's gonna be a for loop again. It's gonna take the tiles that we've got. So this is the same exact block as before. I haven't done anything different. I'm gonna go back to scene and get the uh, sorry, the array of tiles. So remember this checkered block here, array of all these checkered locations, match it with the inner part. So this part here, not with the edges, with this part. And uh, here we go. And what do I need to create? Well, I, I think I'm going to create pizza because pizza is always good. So I'm going to create a new variable that says pizza. I'm going to select the picture of a pizza, which obviously you can modify adding your favorite toppings. And we need to place it in uh, sorry, on top of all of those tiles. Otherwise, uh, they are always going to be in the middle of the screen and then not, that's not good. So it's the same block as we used before. If you notice, I'm doing exactly the same steps. So there's nothing really new here. So here we go. We set the pizza on all of those locations and they go everywhere. Finally, I want to make sure that my character is sitting at the bottom of the level so I don't accidentally eat pizza. Not that that's a bad thing, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing that and not the computer by mistake. So I'm going to place my sprite on top. I'm going to use another block. But for this, please, guy, guys, remember to not put it inside, look, but outside. Here we go. We place pizza, uh, sorry, <laughs> no pizza. We place UK on top of a bottom tile, which is the one with the line underneath. So it's going to choose somewhere around there, okay? We've got it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this so far, but if you struggle to keep up with this part, not to worry, I'm gonna show you how to make the a green version of this, which is pretty much identical. You just need to create a new project and get rid of some blocks. That's about it. No problem, nothing else to do. Next thing we wanna do is to create an overlap so that our character can eat the uh, pizzas. And uh, when the pizzas run out, character will receive a new message which will unlock the level. And we're gonna go back to the previous level. Right, as promised, here's how to do the simplified version. You see, I'm back in the green and this is what you can do. So, all you need if you want to use the green version is when you create a new project, a brand new project, you're gonna have an on start loop. Don't worry, mine is gonna be grayed out, but um, yours is gonna be okay if it's a new one. And all you have to do is take these blocks from here to the bottom, okay? So pause the video now and make sure you go through these. You can pretty much ignore these and on your brand new um, level, you can just use these from set tile map two all the way to the bottom, okay? So 
In case you wanted to do a simplified version, here's what to do. Pause the video here, copy these blocks, and then continue with me. Right guys, I hope you managed to uh, create either version. So now we wanna create a uh, overlap that allows UK to eat the pizza. Let me try. So I'm gonna go back to Sprite, get the mouth, uh, the so whale mouth shaped um, block, which is the same. Here we go. And uh, you remember here it says on Sprite of kind player overlaps with other Sprite of kind player. Well, we created new Sprites now. So it shouldn't be a player anymore. It should be pizzas. In here, I can go and create a pizza. Ooh, I'm getting hungry now. Right, so when it happens, what we need to do is the usual thing. We destroy the other sprites. So remember this one, we need to drag and drop, guys. Drag and drop, no other ways. Drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. I can't say it as many times. Drag and drop. Super important. What is it? Drag and drop. Okay, I know it's annoying, but this is where most of mistakes happen. So after you drag and drop the drag and droppy thing for drag and dropping, you can use a little animation, which is always cool. Maybe a different one. I'm going to use fire for a couple of hundred milliseconds. And uh, what do we need to do? Well, we need to check if the pizza has run out, then we get to the next level. How do I do that? Well, in order to do that, I need to set up an array of pizzas. We've done it before, so it's going to be quite easy. Give yourself a little bit extra space and uh, let's go and grab the array. Go to the very bottom and this is the, the, sorry, the array block that we've used earlier and put it at the bottom of your function. If you're using the simplified version, put this at the bottom of your start function. Uh, it's exactly the same, okay? So here we go, set, and this is going to be all pizzas, so I'm going to call it all pizzas. Remember to use new variable and not rename it, all pizzas. Uh, something that I should have mentioned already is try to avoid spaces. If you really want to separate words, please use the underscore like that, but codes don't really like spaces, so please keep them all together. It's an array of all sprites of kind pizzas. Now, we have a list. This block that we just laid down, once again, if you're using the yellow version, you should be inside your level 2 function. If you're using the simplify version, you should be inside your start method. We now have this list, technically speaking, an array and we can measure its length. When it gets to zero, well, that's when we can trigger the new level. Okay, so to get the length of an array, so in other words, a counting of how many items we've got in that list, we go to array, and you see this length of array? That's very easy. Length of array is basically counting how many we've got. So just leave it here for the moment. What we want to create now is a function that says if the array is finished, then we can say congratulations, you ate all the pizzas, you can go back to the next level. Perfect. Let's do that. Go back to logic. If. I'm going to go to comparison. Why? Because I want to check if the length of array is equal to zero. Here we go. I'm going to place it here. Oh, sorry, on the first one. And obviously, it needs to match our all pizzas. Length of array, all pizzas equals zero. So imagine going to the supermarket. I'm sure you've done this before with your parents or your siblings. You've got a list and you're crossing off stuff. Did you get the eggs? Yes. Who got the butter? Yes, I got it. If you got the cheese, okay, I'm going to go and get it. Perfect. And you cross it off. Every time you cross it off, obviously you've got less elements. And it's going to be the same thing. At some point, you're going to run out. So you're done and you can go to the checkout. Instead, here we're not in the supermarket. <laughs> we are inside the level. So once we run out of items, we'll be able to go back to our previous level. So let's see how we can do this. Just a couple of blocks. Bear with me. I hope you're still on. 
Okay, so once we reach zero, we need to send a message to the uh, user, always with a splash. You can use other dialogues if you want, you can play around, not to worry. So, congratulations. Uh, okay, is your tummy full yet? <laughs> um, you've unlocked the next level. And obviously you can be a bit more dramatic than this in your game. This is just a list of blocks. Remember, then you can create it your own way. So we're done. Let's give it a quick test. Let me show you how it's supposed to work. If we get to 100, we're going to get a message. We're going to get 50 bonus points and we're going to go to level two. When level two is called, we're going to destroy whatever herbs are left with this loop. We're going to destroy our character. And this is if you decide to go through the yellow level. If you started the green, so the, yes, the green, so the new level, in that case, you will have a start from here. You start from this and you go destroy. Sorry, you start from the tile map, create a character, move it, place the pizzas and create an array of pizzas. Eat the pizzas because pizzas are delicious. And once you run out, the splash happens. What we're going to do after this, obviously, is send UK back to the previous level. But there will be a twist. There will be no herbs there. There will be the yin yang stones that UK needs to collect. Let me play it for you guys. So we're going round and round and collecting. Depending on however many you place. <laughs> Get in there. 100 is quite a few. That is quite a fun. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, I'm gonna get the last one. Congratulations, wise one. You have unlocked the sacred door. And as I press button A, which on your keyboard is gonna be the letter Z, we're gonna move to the next level. Okay, here we go. You see, UK is different. And I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna eat all the pizza. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Woohoo! And let me just leave one last pizza and we should get a message saying that we ran out of pizzas. So you've seen the playthrough. It's always important to play through because we'll find mistakes and bugs that we need to fix. Everything went well. I started eating the pizza, actually, UK did. I'm still very hungry, actually. But then when the Sprite finished eating, nothing happened. And that's because we did not update the length of the array. In other words, we didn't tell the computer to cross off those items as we were eating them. Luckily, this is only one block. Let me add it for you and explain, and then we'll be done with this lamp. Okay, so here's what was happening. We set up the array for all pizzas, but as we were destroying the pizzas, or in other words, eating them, unfortunately, we were not updating that array. So this is what was missing. We make a copy of this and push it here at the beginning, okay? Remember to make a copy, you right click, or you keep your finger there for a second, a second and a half, and the job is done. One more thing, because the engine is on a browser, it might not be as precise as you would expect. It. So instead of making it equal zero, we're gonna have it, we're gonna give it a little bit of wiggle room. And what I wanna say is it's less than three. So at that stage, why am I doing this? Is because sometimes if you go through it very, very quickly, the computer might not have enough power to calculate all of the pizzas that you've eaten and even though you've eaten them all it does not let you go to the next level so this one is a kind of a safe uh, safety system to make sure that we manage also to test your code what i've done is instead of getting a hundred points i just for now moved it down to 10 so that i can troubleshoot it 
then you obviously you can move it up to 100 or even more as long as you've got enough herbs on. So let me go full screen and check with you. I'm gonna just grab 10 of these, so it's gonna be very quick. I've already achieved 10, so let me go through. Now I can eat all the pizzas. And as I get to the end, there we go. I get the message. And at this stage, we can go to the next level. Okay, steam machines. I hope you're still with me. And if not, do go and take a break because obviously when you're learning lots of new things, it might take time. I'm not gonna lie to you every time I learn something new. It takes me quite a long time, but uh, since this is a video, you can pause it, slow it down, repeat it, and perhaps check it in a few hours. Don't forget to wash your face with some cold water, go outside, have some different activities, okay? So do not get stuck in front of the computer all the time. I know it's fun, love it, but uh, we need to do other things as well. I'll see you in the next session for the creative coding. Goodbye, guys. This is Mr. Bear from uh, Conducting Music, checking out from Momokuri, Steam Corner. Bye-bye, see you soon.